So this is the number one reason why I don't really like uh, and it's penal black folks. So basically this is the reason why a lot of people don't like certain software that you go to and look at certain government supplies photos because is it real or is it PSYOPs propaganda BS? Okay. Because as you see, this was basically gonna be something that was put out on April 9th and I'll show you the date. And it could be on any site because they're just gonna put up what NASA feeds them, okay? So we've been showing you the meatball. This is not the meatball. This is a gas ball, and I'll give you the name for it. And this is what makes you, uh, you know, we know truth, facts, actual truth, 100% of certain things about landing on the moon, okay? So this makes you start wondering when you get fed too much crap because the idea now. I'm not saying that a gas ball does not exist out in space, but this is not the meatball, okay? So I don't want people, since they start putting this out about a gas ball, and basically, i.e., it's probably very factual that it is out there because the idea that when they talk about a gas in Earth's atmosphere, like overseas somewhere, i.e., you've heard the news reports, news reports, are you over there sniffing the air and lighting a lighter and go boom? You're not going to. Not in open air, ladies and gentlemen the world or any area on earth unless it's a small area on the ground uh, not over water it's not going to go fumo fuego okay now this is supposed to be a gas ball out in space and I'll give you the name of it so I be careful what they try to feed you because I think we all believe pretty much positively ourselves that no matter what until we get to look through the uh, until we get to look through the Hubble telescope ourselves, we don't believe a lot of the pictures that we see from the Hubble telescope, okay? Because remember, they are images from the Hubble telescope, okay? This is not. This is Soho. This is actual, like a photocopier in space bringing you a shot back, and we know the meatball exists, okay? Tons of astronomers, and possibly even some astrologers knew this was going to come around and been out there for a long time, okay? So this actually exists. And there's your Soho shot. So until we get to look through the Hubble telescope ourselves, a lot of the stuff that we get from those pictures from them, the animation, or just straight out, that's what they don't really tell you the thousand percent truth on that animation or not. Is it a thousand percent factual picture? Nope. So if it is, then let us look through the Hubble. Let, let us take a little peeky poo. Saying it does not exist or if it's fake? I'm not saying that want to take a peek to ourselves, okay? Because this isn't the meatball, and they are trying to distract you and make you think that something else is what something shows you from Soho, which Soho is a thousand percent accurate factual data pictures, okay? This is not, okay? This is not, okay? And I hear, here's the data, and basically this gets fed to you by NASA. Okay, because there's going to be a name in there. So you're supposed to go there and they'll feed you this. Okay, fresh. Whether it's real data or not, it's still an artistic image. It's not a photo. So it'd be nice to see a photo, wouldn't it? An actual photo through a telescope that costs zillions of dollars, which we know works, you know. So uh, let's let us have a little peeky poo. Hell going out there with a news satellite camera and give us a live shot, see what's going on out there in space. You see what I'm saying? So, then you get this, which just does not really look like a, yeah. Well, if it is, then let's see it. Let's take a peeky poo just about every day. Where's the live feed? Taxpayer dollars pay for it, right? We get to see Soho. Soho is real. That's a photocopier in space, and we get real shots of objects in space off of Soho from H1A and all the other satellites with Sechi and Soho, Alaska. All right? So watch for the truth. Believe yourself and what your mind tells you is real, okay? This is real. The meatball is real, ladies and gentlemen. It's out there. And let's go to a little bit and see how, how much Bino is quarantined off to only let a certain amount of people... Uh, know about the truth. So I want to give a big heads out to all retired military and serving because I got a feeling either that or it's just a bunch of uh, whatever.
Dino is quarantined out. Let's show you why we know that. So first off, you get old videos when you go here. Uh, the only thing is, we looks like we do get this here on this search. But let's go to the today's activity, which is I don't know if they have an excuse for being way behind on this stuff. Because go look, check this out. So when you go to this, this is how far behind they put put uh, truth, factual data. Because we go to Beano Blacks, the, the, everybody has a Beano. Uh, a, whatever you got for a channel, you have a today. And if you go check that, and then you can see how anciently go back to uh, how old my videos are okay as far as what they show for today you see so how far behind they try to push the truth okay so as you see we will go back and I will go ahead and I think I can just go ahead and pop back a, a one here and we'll go down and at least they do show there and they but they put them out of order you see they don't keep them in order because basically this was my last video okay so you have to watch everything and we know the counters are wrong okay especially if Bino is quarantined like we figure so NSA NIS uh, all those abbreviations Kerasoft IA and there's a letter in front of that A B C and IA so everything gets quarantined it seems I apologize to anybody in the Antarctic if I say it wrong, but I plow camera, the south camera. So we're going to go to equilateral location here on the moon. And yes, when you see the drawing, yes, there is material that follows the Earth. We have remnants. Earth has remnants out there. They're not very large. They're way smaller than than the moon. Okay. So this was the moon at 510 UTC time. Okay. The sun, Earth, we get the sun on whatever side is at 510 UTC time, Zulu time, and then the moon and the light from the sun and the supergiants over here hitting it and then as you can see when they do the drawing it's not a typo mistake yes there is objects there ladies and gentlemen that follow us and, and we also showed you in the last video and check this out and you'll get a good shot of the super giants and so forth and basically I think I'll hit Stefan that should be the moon there and then you'll also see that there's a stagnant we've also seen before and then the super giants okay and then we are also going to see and then at the time that this is UTC time so see the sun will be coming up okay okay with the super giants yes okay and there's the moon if you notice today in the daylight time you got pretty much almost a full moon even though they call it a gibbous I think right now or whatever and we will keep going through here and you got the super giants behind and then what we're going to do is we're going to track back and there should be our stationary object behind is going to be as we got the moon coming by you have this stationary object there okay and that's not the moon okay and we showed you before and you zoom in on it so and we got the moon coming up super giants following it and you'll know that the sun is smaller when it comes up. This is all Zulu time. And you get this different glow of the super giants. And there comes the sun. Okay, you see how small? Now, and then what is that back there? Okay, so we got sun and super giants. Okay, which sun do you get? You see? And the sun rifles through. Okay, so we back up. And you have separation. You got the sun, and you got the other star, which is a sun. Mm-hmm. There you go. Way more than one El Flamo. Okay, so then we go through the evening. I mean, we'll go through the day. 23, 24 hours of daylight down there. And you should be able to see the yellow printing in there and everything like that. And also pay attention to how fast with the how the speed of the Earth rotation right now, how fast the glaciers see these glaciers are basically icebergs. Okay, people get anal on saying something. Okay, check how fast these icebergs are moving around since our ass is the tail end of. And there we go. More than likely that should be. But see what time it is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and then, so, at that time, 1915 UTC, that is not the moon, okay, and I don't really care too much, we really don't even, 
much care. Now there's a halo of this star that comes up. Because you're not going to be able to say that that's some planet. Okay. Because here comes the winged warrior. Okay. So this is at 20 UTC Zulu time in the evening in the dark. So you got sons of the super giants. Okay. Coming through the sky. And you also had that planet, object, whatever that came through at that certain time. So what we'll do is we'll pop down here and we're going to go back. There's that halo that comes across and then you have the star. Okay. There you go. And you got that planet there. So if you can get, uh, go ahead and go to your constellations and everything like that and pick up what was at 1930 UTC and find the brightest planet or star. Let's zoom in on that. And no matter what, at that UTC time, that's not the moon, okay? And as you see, it's getting light from the sun and the supergiants on this side of it, and it's got a darkness to this side of it, and because this doesn't put off as much light, okay? And that exists right there, okay? This is web footage from Palau down at, at that time, UTC, okay? Let's pop back down and go to our custom. So the super giants exist, folks, okay? And yes, they're hella far out, but they hella get light to Earth, okay? 3D image-wise and so forth, and there you go. At 2030 UTC, and there you go, even more proof, because it's shining back down on the water, the ocean, and down there, Antarctic. And... Basically, yeah, see, that's I'm only missing that much on the top, so you're not really missing anything. And there you go. And basically, uh, we'll see what else I find in here. So then we have 5 UTC again, and we should be able to step, I think. There we go. It's super giants. And more than likely, the moon should be that was the moon. Okay. That is the moon right there, okay? That's the moon. So everything else that everybody's always trying to say, well, it's this and that, and that and this, it's not. There's your super giants. There's way more than one sun. And there you go. And then you've got separation to the here to the here. Who's your back door store? Who's your back door sun store? Because I'm backing up. And there's the sun, and there's your back door door. There's your other door. There's your other flame. There's your other fuego. So I want to thank all the German scientists down there and all the other scientists that are helping the German scientists trying to figure out the, the skies, which they probably already do. And basically, they know the super giants exist. So there's way more than one sun, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, i.e., there is way more than one sun. We're learning more how sun hits the earth and gets here over three point something minutes from one AU away, under one AU away. Pretty wild, huh? Okay, because the idea that remember what I showed you earlier, go back, rewind the video. That wasn't the sun in the middle of the night coming up, folks. Okay, and this is all coming up. In the AM hour, down UTC Zulu down there in Antarctica, okay? The super giants, the moon, because there's the moon. There goes the moon, here comes the super giants, and then here comes one sun, and here comes another sun. Keep those sunglasses on and keep those lips wet, ladies and gentlemen. Smoke it if you got it, you only live once. Tons of difference between artist renditions and actual factual space photos. So s try to stick with the realness, okay, of real. Reality does exist. Real. Real photos. Space.
and YouTube. My videos are supposed to be in news and politics. I'm not basically in goofy land here with all this crap to the right.